Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving. Proceed on the current road. Out walking the dogs and we're at America Wilderness Campground. It's just outside of Cleveland, Ohio. And I thought I'd kind of walk along and give you a little bit of a review of what we think of this campground. It's one advantage of, of it is it's very close to Cleveland. They say 30 miles or 30, but that translates with traffic and everything to be about. 40 minutes to an hour into Cleveland, but it's they're claiming it's the closest campground to Cleveland. And we came here because we wanted to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and we thought this would be a good campground to use as a base point. It's it's a very nice, clean campground. Everything looks well kept and fairly new. Yeah, and you can uh, they've got tent areas here got a swimming area that I'll show you and playgrounds for kids they have a nice uh, camp store and they have a recreation room that they actually hire that out as like a banquet room when we were checking in there was people uh, reserving the room for a wedding so I thought that was kind of neat It's, it's a nice, a real nice campground. The, the, the cons I have for it, I would say, are it's really geared to, to their seasonal guests. People who, you know, leave their trailers here, or their, or their RVs here for the full season and, and spend the summer here. They've probably got uh, about 10 campsites for overnight guests. And half of those are pull through the other half are back end and what we've kind of found that we were a little disappointed in on the back end sites was that the main road which I'm walking along right here our, our bedroom backed up to that road so early in the morning or late at night anytime someone drove in and out you know when we were in bed we would hear that so that's a little disappointing the other um, con to this uh, campground that I want to point out is no Wi-Fi. They seem to have Wi-Fi antennas out, but it's not turned on. They don't give you a guest access or anything to it. So, so those are the two cons. The pluses are it's a real nice campground. It looks like it's got a lot of amenities for families. I'll show you the, the playground and then the swimming area. It does have a pool, but it has a swimming pond and beach, which is unique. But other than that, I would say 
you know, it's a good place, very well kept. Everything's nice and green, uh, well mowed. Nothing's, um, you know, messy or anything like that. They seem to, to take care of the place pretty well. And we haven't really seen them when we were here out working on the place at all. So it's kind of interesting uh, on that perspective. Um, so American Wilderness Campground and it's in Grafton, Ohio. So if you're kind of wondering, I'll put all that information um, in the description below. It's it's probably not on the main main drag that you would think to look to look for a campground. Right. So, but it served its purpose. I mean, we were gone all day yesterday, and we're leaving early today. So. Yeah, it worked as a good base camp, oh. and that's really the plus. It was only you know thirty some miles, you know about forty five minutes to Cleveland, right. right to the right to downtown to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So it was easy to get to that. Coming up here, I'll show you the uh, playground, and they have a game room here. So this is the playground area. We've got that um, climbing structure and slides. No swing sets. I didn't really notice that before. They have a basketball court. They have this mining uh, area that you know. I guess you know, like for. You kids can be like panning for gold or something. They've got probably something set up there. This is a game room. Um, I don't know what the hours are. Oh. It was a good stop. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, no internet, so I think that would take it down. So I don't know. What would you rate it at? Mm, probably a five. A five? Yeah, I was going to say maybe a, a five, six. That's not right. Yes, it is. Oh, it is on? Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, that's right. You have it turned this way. Yeah, I'd rate it a five or six. Yeah. You know, I'd stay there again for the same purpose if we, you know, decided to come back to Cleveland. Right. No dog park, so I think, I think no internet, no dog park had kind of take a couple points off of it for me. Right. Right. But it gains a few points because of the cleanliness and everything. Mm -hmm. The landscaping and it was fairly neat looking. Right. And the people were very nice. Yeah. So now on to Michigan. On to Michigan. Which we'll be staying at the racetrack, which will be a whole, totally different type of campground review. Right. It's the first time we've stayed at. Is it the first time? First time we've ever stayed at a racetrack. Yeah. Yep. So it should be interesting. Yeah. But I think it'll work out good. So yeah. We can come back during the day. We have electric, so we can run the air conditioning for right. the dogs, and that's a that's a plus. Yep. Thank you for watching Zephyr's Travels. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. What? You haven't subscribed to our channel yet? What are you waiting for? It doesn't cost you anything. Please subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Here's another video that you may like. It's our video of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'll post the link right here for you. See you down the road. Bye.